Good morning, children of God. It is great to be here. Check out this awesome animal I made out of Play-Doh. Pretty cool, huh? It looks just like, I don't know, a dog or a, a calf. You know what? Maybe, maybe it has special powers. What do you think? Do you have special powers? Do you? No, of course not. This animal is just something I made out of Play-Doh. Wouldn't it be silly to think that something I made with my own two hands would have power? But that's exactly what happens in today's story, which is also this week's family faith at home lesson. So the story comes from the book of Exodus in the Old Testament. Exodus is mostly about Moses and Moses was a great man who God chose to help the Israelites escape slavery in Egypt. Moses led them a long, long way for a long, long time to get to the safe place that God promised them. So on the way to the promised land, they stopped at the base of Mount Sinai where they made camp. Moses left the people and went up the mountain to see God. And while he was there, God gave him the Ten Commandments. So the Ten Commandments are special rules to show God's people how they're supposed to treat God and each other. And today we should still follow the Ten Commandments. Well, anyway, Moses came down the mountain and showed the Ten Commandments to the Israelites. One of the commandments is to not worship idols. Idols are like statues and by worshiping them we believe them to have special powers so Moses went back up the mountain to talk to God again and this time he was gone for such a long time the Israelites were worried something happened to them or happened to him so what did they do instead of having faith in God that Moses would come back they melted all their gold jewelry and made a huge golden calf and started worshiping it instead of God. They disobeyed one of God's 10 commandments. So looking down from the top of the mountain, God was furious. How can they have broken one of my 10 commandments already? But Moses calmed him down and went down the mountain and took that golden calf and threw it in the fire, telling the Israelites how wrong they were. The Israelites did a really, really bad thing in worshiping the golden calf instead of God. They'd forgotten how God had cared for them and had used Moses to lead them out of Egypt where they'd been slaves. And they experienced many of God's miracles along the way, yet they forgot about God's goodness and instead worshiped a gold statue. So you see, just like my Play-Doh calf or dog, whatever, has no special powers, the golden calf the Israelites made didn't either. Only God has the power to be God. Anything that keeps us from placing God first in our lives is a mistake. And sometimes people let money or things or having a good time become more important than God. And there's nothing wrong with enjoying all of these blessings, as long as they don't become the most important thing in our lives. So let us pray. Dear God, thank you for the many blessings you have given us. You are the true God and must always have first place in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, that's all for today. I look forward to seeing you next week. And in the meantime, lots and lots of hugs.